Welcome to the fifth video in my solutions and concentration series. In this particular video we're going to be doing a serial dilution. I'm going to take some pure water and then I will then subsequently add 270 microliters of water to each of the eight wells in a micro titer plate. When this is finished, I will then take 30 microliters of a blue dye at a concentration of 100 micrograms per microliter and then place it into the micro teeter plate into the first well. Then subsequently, I will pipette 30 microliters and then move it to the next well from the previous well. So please watch. What you just saw me do was what we call a serial dilution. Okay, with this serial dilution, the first thing that I did was I filled every single well with the same quantity or volume of water in this case. And in this case, the volume was 270 microliters. So that's going to go across the board. So every single one of those wells has the same volume of water. I then took 30 microliters of the stock and moved that into the 270 microliters. So the point here is when I added that to it, we have a total volume of 300 microliters. Right. I then subsequently took 30 microliters and transferred it to the next. Took 30 of tube 2 or well 2. 30 from tube 3 and put it into 4. And what you start to see is I'm serially moving solution from one well to the next well. And each time I'm doing I'm using the same volume and this allows me to have a constant dilution factor. So I'm diluting from well to one well to another the same amount. Okay, so as you can see, 30 microliters from one well to the other, the final of eight times. Okay, so what I've done here real quick is said my final volume is 300 microliters in each well. And also what I wanted to point out is my stock has a concentration of 100 micrograms of solute per one microliter of solvent. So that's my initial concentration. This is going to be significant because now I can kind of follow how my sample is diluted across the wells. So if my original one is 100 micrograms per microliter and I move 30 microliters of that to a total volume of 300, it looks like this. 30 microliters of the solute to a total volume of 300. What I've basically done is what we call a one-tenth dilution. The other way to communicate this is say I've done a 10 times dilution factor. So in other words, I've diluted it 10 times. So it's 10 times more dilute here in well number one than it was in the stock. And if you follow along now, you notice that each time I move fluid from one well to another one, I'm going to have the same factor of dilution. So it's going to become 10 times less dilute, or it'll be one-tenth the amount that was in the previous one. Okay, now what does that mean in terms of the amount in each well? So if I diluted this, tenfold, this is now 10 micrograms per mil. This would be 1 microgram per mil, 0 0.1 micrograms per milliliter, 0 0.01 micrograms per milliliter, 0 0.001 micrograms per microliter. I'm sorry, I'm getting off on the thing. This is microliter. 
0.0001 micrograms per microliter, 0.0001 micrograms per microliter, and 0. 0.0000001 microgram per microliter. So as you can see, well number eight has much less quantity than the original stock. So I've diluted it many, many, many fold. So to calculate that, if I know that each time I diluted it tenfold, I can multiply these together and get a final dilution factor. So in this particular case, my final dilution factor is 100 million. So basically this is 100 million times more dilute than the original stock solution. The other way of putting this, if I wanted to just pipette this out instead of doing this serial steps of dilution, this would be equivalent to one microliter of the stock per 100 liters of water. So if we go back to our original plate, this is one-tenth the volume of the stock, which was in this tube. And this well right here on the far end is 100 million times more dilute than the stock, which is here. And what we've done by having equal amounts, we've done this in a serial manner and equal dilution factors between each well.